Hello, Kevin Vandy here with Competitive Edge Physical Therapy. I'm going to show you a video today about how running mechanics can be changed over time from a biomechanical perspective. And I'm going to be using some video examples and some still image examples uh, talking about peak loading rates and impact peak loads over the course of a training cycle through physical therapy here at our gate lab, Competitive Edge Physical Therapy in San Jose with cutting edge biofeedback technology. So here we go. What you see on the screen here is the initial running assessment for a triathlete in the local area that came in uh, with complaints of shin pain. So looking at this video from the start and this is initial contact position on the left hand side, you see a higher dorsiflexion angle here at the ankle, relatively straight knee uh, with a knee flexion angle uh, of about four or five degrees. Uh, and a relatively upright trunk. This is the initial assessment, and what we saw from this initial assessment was this impact graph. The treadmill reads pressure, and so what we saw was an impact peak, which is basically from initial contact to the uh, moment of loading response, initial loading response during running gait. And here we see an impact peak, peak of uh, 1,040 newtons, and we see a peak loading of 1,266 newtons. Also during this initial assessment, during peak impact, uh, so impact peak uh, at its highest, we saw a knee flexion angle of 19.9 uh, degrees, uh, and we'll compare that in just a second to what we saw at the end of training. Now our training focused on uh, using real-time feedback using a uh, TV in front of the treadmill and real-time images of a uh, pressure landing pressure. Uh, so the client could see in real time how hard they were landing, the pressures with which they were landing, and could make on-the-fly adjustments uh, as they learned improved uh, loading control through the knee and hip, which is what our strengthening program focused on, uh, was on building the eccentric control, control of the gluteus medius and maximus, the quadriceps, uh, and also avoiding this position of overstriding. As you can see, this heel is landing in front of the body. Over time, we pulled that closer back to uh, contact, uh, closer to the center of mass, and that lo uh, decreased loading rates over time. So what I'll do is I'll go through and I will show you final run test. We see a improved uh, knee flexion position at peak loading. Uh, so what we see here, this is a final run test. And what we see here is improved knee flexion angle at the same position. Uh, we also see less of a dorsiflexion angle and we see less pelvic drop in this position. In comparison, when we look at the loading rates, we see a substantial drop in impact peak forces and a substantial drop in peak loading forces compared to the initial record. When we compare the two records, what we see is, uh, this is at the initial running analysis, we saw a very quick spike of impact loads uh, during impact peak and that impact peak was actually very close to peak loading and we saw an impact peak of uh, 1040 newtons and a peak loading of 1266. After training and using uh, biofeedback technology and running education we see a a 62% reduction in impact peak forces at 651 newtons and we see a 15% reduction in peak loading at uh, the final running evaluation. And in terms of uh, knee flexion, we see an increase in knee flexion angle of 24.6 degrees at peak impact loading, uh, which is an 8% increase in knee flexion, which tells us that the muscular system is taking over uh, a eccentric loading role versus bony anatomy, such as the shin, the knee, the ankle, hip, or the lumbar spine. So over time, we can make changes in running form. It is possible. Working with biofeedback makes a tremendous difference. Having real-time feedback on things such as pressure, knee flexion angle, hip flexion angle, uh, anything in our lab we can make as a biofeedback tool. If you're interested in what we can do and how we can help you, check out our website, www.compedgept.com. And you can also look at our YouTube channel for more videos. Please subscribe if you like this video and you want more information on running analysis and running training. And uh, don't believe what you hear. Running can be improved. 
if you work at it and you have the right feedback, you can make changes that will help you run uh, long into your career without pain and with improved performance.